Hi, Taurus. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Focus. Wizard of the Woods, number 50. Under the deck is beauty. Someone could be very focused on you right now. I get like he's kind of like the magician or he's very mesmerized. Someone made me uh, mesmerized by you. All right. What's going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who is obsessed with you, watches you a lot. The moon, six of cups, the ace of swords, the fool, king of cups. Someone's in their emotions. Somebody has something they want to say to you. Ace of swords and the six of cups. Maybe a Pisces specifically. Okay. Let's go back through here. I'm going to use a different deck. What is this moon? Yeah. Ooh. King of Wands came out in reverse. Someone's apologizing. Somebody wants to manifest you back or come back into your life. They don't want to let you go. They could be very emotional with the moon energy here and the five of cups. Wow. Now the King of Wands, though, let's see why he's in reverse. That could be someone who's very self-focused, though. Listen to your intuition. Messages. A lot of messages, maybe. Random messages person is unfocused is kind of what I'm getting. They're scattered. They're not sure what to say. Fool, the lovers, and the three of coins. Wanting to work this out. Wanting to fix something. This may be a Leo. Got Gemini here also. I feel like this person is frantic. That's kind of what I'm getting here. All right. What is this Ace of Swords? The Strength card. The Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I feel like this person did something. Maybe you caught them possibly. Maybe they were very selfish acting and they really screwed up and you called them out. I feel like this person is really... I already said frantic, but maybe this could be a third person, third party relationship possibly. The Seven of Swords next to the Ace of Cups. Maybe they want to start over. Maybe this is being you know done in secret or something. What is this full energy? King of Pentacles. The Devil. And the Empress, well, you have a lot of people looking at you, Taurus. So, remember I, when I was shuffling, I saw the King of Swords. That's why I called out Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Now we have everyone else showing up. And then we have them viewing you as the Empress. Someone is, well, it could be more than one person. Usually I say, when I have like two kings or two queens, okay, maybe that's one person. But when I start having like three different suits coming up, I usually think it's two. However, this one came out in reverse. I'm thinking this one's kind of obsessed with you. Like they're going kind of like bonkers, like out of their mind because they want to be with you so badly or something. Or they, or you block them. Have you blocked somebody? No. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe in the month of October. That came up in Scorpios too. Uh, maybe it's a Scorpio, but ten months ago, maybe October or. Cherry, they want to come toward you with. I'm asking like a timeline or third party. Three of Cups. I feel like someone got caught, I don't know, at a party. What is this King of Cups in the outcome? What is this King of Cups in the outcome? Page of Coin, the Two of Swords, and the. And now we have the Emperor. <laughs> now, again, you may be masculine watching this and you may date men, masculine energy, whatever. But here we have we do have the emperor and empress, so interesting. Someone's going to try to prove their worth to you. So I'm getting here, Taurus. They want a new beginning. Now I'm also going to tell you, some of you, there is a new person here that you haven't talked to yet, who's really interested in you, or if you have spoken to them, it's just been a little bit like small talk. But the main focus of your reading, I can tell, is on someone who's trying to level up for you. Who's like, they're trying to do a lot of different things for you. They may be working on their career or money. They may be working on their emotional status. They may want to like share more, be more open. Because um, King of Wands in reverse can be someone who's like, I would usually say selfish, but maybe they are so like overly focused on themselves, getting you back, trying to, you know, it's about you, but it's also about them. They're afraid to lose you. All right, what does the spirit need to know? Oh, rejection. Did you reject this person? Did they reject you at one time? They could have rejected you because I get there's some cards here that show me that they did something kind of screwed up and now they're paying the price. So maybe, you know, you blocked them or you moved on, but there's been some sort of rejection. One more. Friendship. Friend zone. They got friend zone. This this could be someone, a friend, a coworker. 
Let me see. Rejection, friendship, and one more. Balance. Balancing things out. Regret. Okay, maybe they friend zoned you or you them. Okay. What does Taurus need to know? Lovers. Wow. Under the deck, the Eight of Coins. They want to work this out. They want to get back together. The lovers energy here. Someone may be realizing too late, and it could have something to do. I noticed a lot of people had some difficulty with this past, uh, was it the eclipse or the Scorpio full moon? Just could have really brought up some feelings for certain people, or for this person, I should say. What is this emperor? What is this emperor saying? I'm not wanting to see they're an emperor. This person wants you to see them as an emperor. What would they want to say to you, Taurus? This person could be like a, a building planner or something, or an architect or something, where he has those scrolls in his hand, or what would they say? They're saying so many things remind them of you. I got a flash of a park. Someone maybe near a park, or maybe went to a park with this person, because I'm seeing like a pond, a duck pond, maybe there were some geese in it, or something. Maybe you guys went for a walk, or met there one time. What else? I can't get enough of you. Some of you are on also, a few of you, someone maybe you may be on Instagram or YouTube or OnlyFans or something else. Maybe they are a subscriber or they look at your stuff a lot or I don't know why I got like it's a subscription type thing, but it could be anything. They could be obviously on Instagram or TikTok or whatever they're on. And one more, I love you. Timing wasn't right. This is coming up for a lot of signs I noticed recently. They may have had to level up. Maybe they needed to, you know, improve themselves before they could be in this connection with you. Let me find out something they like about you, Taurus. What does this person like about Taurus? Okay, we have friend in both decks. So that's not a coincidence. That's a fact. So this person views you as a best friend, a friend. Maybe you guys are friends. Maybe a tie-in to a best friend. Okay, what else? This is going to be a pleasant surprise. Now, they could be surprising you. This may come out of the blue. All right. One more. Maybe that's, uh, maybe you weren't even thinking about this person, but all of a sudden here they come. Curvy. So they like your body, like your curves. Pleasant surprise, curvy, and this person only has eyes for you. Wow. This person's head over heels. Okay, look what just fell out. Do you see this card? It fell out. In love with you. An adventure spirit is under the deck. I'll show you it. But um, in love with you fell out. They wanted you to know this. This person's in love with you. That's why I think they're so frantic. Because they didn't know before. They didn't feel this. Maybe they rejected you because you guys were just friends. They friend zoned you or vice versa. And then they had to get their life in balance. Something was out of balance. Now they're realizing this. There could be a sudden, you know, they could, again, I'm getting for a few. They could, like, just show up, surprise you. Sometimes they see like the devil with the empress, like wanting to get you pregnant if possible, if that's possible, you know, wanting to have a kid with you, doing something foolish or crazy, giving up the lover, so there's a possibility of that. Maybe you wanted to have a child with this person, possibly for somebody, um, and they didn't. Now, I get they're working on their money, definitely, trying to, you know, show you their emperor status. Okay, what else, spirit? What other deck? Let me go to this one really quick and see. They could be studying right now. I also get someone who's studying the law. This person might be woke. I'm noticing the zodiac signs today. I'm noticing like just maybe they're also into astrology. Or, you know, maybe they're into tarot. What does this person feel? I got the butterfly. So relationship evolving to the next phase, feeling the inner child and growth. Wanting to get engaged, wanting to take this to the next level or have a commitment with you. This is a karmic connection, so it does say tr uh, turmoils or triggers, letting go and loving you, and we also have wanting to date. Okay. How do you feel about this person, Taurus? How are you feeling about them? Or will be feeling? Let's see. The Ace of Pentacles. So you may be willing to give this another chance to start over fresh with this person. What else? Nine of Wands, but this person may feel guilty or bad about the past. This person doesn't want to give up. Or you could see this as a stressful connection. This could be a karmic. Um, 
still soulmate connection, but usually karmic connections teach us more lessons or a little harder, that type of thing. Could be twin flame connection too. I think twin flame connections are hard, but we'll see what else comes out. Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Cool, letting something go. There's something about like really wanting to plan for the future to make it like solid, solidify it. Ten of Pentacles is like how how are we gonna make a plan? Again, ten is October, um, so it's, something may have happened last October. A message, communication, or that is possibly significant of this October coming in. That's been popping up for a couple signs I noticed. Libra, Scorpio energy. Wanting to invest. I really feel like somebody wants to go back to school and get a new um, get a new degree or something like that or further their degree. I don't know why that's coming up as well. Someone has made up their mind. Two of Wands when it comes out in reverse is making up their mind to hold on or hold back. Waiting. Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands. About this relationship this could happen in four days four weeks okay could be an argument but five of wands is no big deal wish fulfilled seeing this person what if you guys will be at a restaurant or something and have an argument about this yeah there's that king of swords i initially saw this is focused on the past person now if there's a new person around you that has a secret crush on you it could be a friend okay it could be someone that maybe you're not that interested in, but I'm going to put a card in the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Of coins. Could be an earth sign. If you know their sign, they could be someone who's a little on the, I'm getting the shorter side. They're not super tall. Could be somebody who has moved to the area. They could be a fire sign. They could come out of their shell. Maybe someone who's kind of shy, who you've been around for a little while. If it is a new person also who hasn't said anything to you, really like told you or shared how they feel, they will be. King of Wands is always the outgoing uh, person who does share more. Maybe they're just kind of seeing if you're like in a relationship. Um, I think this person really likes you. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.